Hello, FBC Salinas. This is Pastor John coming to you with another edition of the Midweek Refresher video, where I desire to do not one thing, which is information, and I want to do two things, which is provide some inspiration as well. Certainly hope your week is going well, and if not, again, I tell you this every week, I hope this video is a great reminder that our God is with us, that it even refreshes your soul, and that you remember that every single day of the week. All right, so, hey, let's get into the informational portion of this. The first is this. We have great news for you. VBS is completely full. Can you believe that? It's completely full. We are going to have 50 children here who are going to hear about God's love for them, his monumental love for them. We have a great team of, of teenagers and of adults and, and other folks who are going to be helping out with this. It is going to be a magnificent week. It is from June 20th to 24th. The way you can help is through your prayer support. So please be praying. And also, if you want to make up some, make some goodies for people, that would be great. Uh, we always could use that. And I promise I won't consume all of them. So thank you for your prayers, and we pray that you'll continue to pray for Vacation Bible School, June 20th to the 24th. Second announcement is this. I want to remind you about Family Camp. You'll be hearing more information about that in a couple weeks, but those dates are July 15 to 17 at Mount Madonna. It's going to be a wonderful time for not only your family, but the church family as well, as we gather up there for that weekend and enjoy fellowship and food and fun. Great time will be had by all. So be looking for that. Uh, the main thing to do right now is mark your calendars for that. And then another date to put on your calendar is July 30th. July 30th, we are going to be having a block party. So this is your first announcement about that. We've done this for the last number of years, and it is a wonderful time. It continues to grow in and people's attendance and so we invite you to be a part of that we're changing up some things this year on for that particular event and we're looking forward to it all right so that's july 30th here at the church and we'll get the times too it'll probably be around four to seven in that area so you can invite your neighbors and your friends your co-workers and your loved ones that would be great so those are the three announcements vacation bible school june 20th 24th your prayer support's important there Family Camp, July 15 to 17. You'll get more information about that. And July 30th from 4 to 7 is our block party. So that's it for the information. And I got to tell you, you ever have those moments where you're just wondering, is God really listening? Is God really there? Is he, is he, I mean, what, what, what's going on? And, and I, I think all of us are having those questions more and more and more every single day. And I was reading this psalm, and it's interesting, this entire psalm is almost underlined in my Bible, and I found it really timely. And that's the beauty of God's Word. We talked about this a few weeks ago in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, that His Word is living and active. God's Word is not a static document. It is dynamic. And one of the reasons why it's dynamic is that it hits us wherever we are in life. It's amazing how God can do that. But I want to invite you to spend some time in Psalm 20. And I'm going to read it to you now, make a few comments, and then we'll wrap up. But, but listen to this and listen to how timely this is. May Yahweh answer you when you are in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. May he give you the desire of your heart to make all your plans succeed. May we shout for joy over your victory and lift up your banners in the name of our God. May Yahweh grant all your requests. Now this I know, Yahweh gives victory to the anointed. He answers him, he answers him from his heavenly sanctuary with the victorious power of his right hand. Some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we trust in the name of Yahweh, our God. They are brought to their knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. Yahweh, give victory to the king. Answer us when we call. What a great psalm. And I don't know if you could hear it on the video, but as I was reading that psalm, an ambulance flew by and we'll be praying for them in just a few moments. 
But what I want you to realize is this, is that in this world that's looking for trust in a variety of ideologies, a variety of, of philosophies, and a variety of powers, the psalmist says this, some trust in horses, some in chariots, in essence, their power. But what do we trust in? We trust in our God, in the name of Yahweh, our God. Folks, I'm here to tell you, he has yet to let us down. He won't let us down. And he is with us and he will give us what we need to keep on going. So my prayer for you, my prayer for me, my prayer for all of us is that we continue to turn to this great God who gives victory, gives victory. I mean, just imagine, he gives victory in the darkest places. And he says, I am with you and let's go. My prayer is that we will experience his victory all the more. Join me as I pray. Father, we pray now that we would experience your victory in our lives, no matter what's going on in them. And Lord, we confess to you there's a lot going on right now that we don't understand. And it's been that way for the last number of years. And so we pray that we would have victory in you. And we pray that you would make it abundantly clear and that you would receive all glory. Some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we trust in you. Help us trust in you through these days. And Lord, we pray for the people who are affected by this. As this ambulance is going by, that means that there's an emergency. And so we pray that your grace will minister to them. And as you minister to them, that you would also minister to us and help us care for those who are hurting around us. Lord, we love you. And we thank you that you hear us when we cry out to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, hey, God bless you. I love you. I hope you have a great rest of the day, a great rest of the week, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.